all of you for joining us today to break ground on this very innovative and uh, exciting project. Our company, McCaffrey's Markets, has been implementing programs to reduce our carbon footprint. We are now sending almost all of our food waste to a compost facility, thereby reducing about 40% of our waste that originally went to landfills. And that's just one example of the things we're doing. One of the best ways to reduce our carbon footprint is to reduce the energy that we consume when sourcing our products. And therefore, we're trying to source our products more locally. And our customers are demanding that more locally grown products as well. The partnership that we have formed with Bright Farms to build a 50,000 square foot greenhouse where products will be produced in a hydroponically pristine environment will meet those demands. We're excited that our stores will now be able to offer fresh greens, fresh herbs, and great tomatoes that are literally picked that morning and available to our customers that afternoon. This greenhouse will enable us to offer these products year-round, not just in prime growing seasons. We believe it's a win-win for our community as well. In addition, Bright Farms will be offering an educational component that will be available to our school children right here in the community for their involvement. I'd like to really thank the Board of Supervisors in Lower Makefield for recognizing the tremendous value that this project will add to our community and their expeditious approval process. I'd like to now introduce uh, the Chairman of the Board of Lower Makefield Supervisors, Pete Stanford. Uh, this is indeed uh, a, a great day for Lower Makefield. The uh, Bright Farms people first uh, approached me back in December uh, with this idea of a, a greenhouse locally that would provide high quality fruits and vegetables year round. Um, at one point in my life, I was uh, somewhat involved with the food industry, consumer products. Uh, I'd been part of a startup company at one point. So we kind of connected right off the bat. Um, I looked at this as a great idea, as a win for our residents to be able to buy high quality fresh fruit and vegetables on a year-round basis. I looked at it as a win for the township. Uh, we're actually leasing the ground to them. Uh, it, it, it's a net win anytime we can maximize a township asset to, for the benefit of the taxpayers. It, it's a good deal. And it's a good, good thing for Jim McCaffrey, a uh, local businessman, a uh, successful businessman, but he competes in a world of 200, 400, 500 store chains, and he has three stores. And this is a way to help him gain an advantage over his competitors, provide a great service to the people of the township. And again, he's a, a, been a pillar of the community, gives back. Um, I was recently accused of being Jim's friend, which, which I am. But more importantly, he's one of the best friends this township has in terms of what he gives back. So Jim, we, we appreciate that. Um, I would like to say a word about Bright Farms, too. Um, we work with a lot of developers of different sizes in this community, and they stand out as being the most flexible, easy to work with, that I think I've ever encountered. Uh, they took time to run some community forums to explain what they were doing to people, have our citizens understand. They met with the farmers. They met with the farmer on this land, uh, Sam, Sam Stewart. So we think we've got a good match here with McCaffrey's, with Bright Farms, with the citizens of Lower Makefield. And, and it's uh, a great step for the Patterson Farm. Uh, the farm is here for agriculture. It has been continually farmed since we bought it. But this is the first step in bringing this farm into the 21st century. Uh, it is of historic significance, but when we talk about food production, this is a move in, into the future of farming. So uh, congratulations to Bright Farms, to Jim McCaffrey. Uh, we're glad you're here as part of our community. Thank you. OK, I'd like to uh, have uh, Mike Fitzpatrick, our congressman, come up and uh, say a few words. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Jim, and uh, I just want to be brief and uh, congratulate all of you, all the leaders of the community who uh, who made this uh, this project and uh, this day this day a reality and this day possible. Um, leadership is important. You know, Bucks County, Pennsylvania leads the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, leads every one of the 67 counties in greenhouse production, 
And that's something that we should be proud of in Bucks County. And what we're here today to celebrate is the fact that Bucks County will continue to lead into the future in this, in this very, very important area. Um, I was involved um, along with Jim and Pete and Steve Sanicero and others in, in each one of the land preservation programs. The initiatives started as ballot initiatives and then became reality and then, you know, purchasing land, farmland, critical natural areas throughout Bucks County. We always said that, you know, it's, it's so important that we preserve our land which is our heritage for a whole bunch of different reasons. To, to preserve the, the viewscape and the quality of life is really critical, but pre preserving that viewscape without a purpose, without a production behind it, um, only gets us halfway there, that we have to have long-term uses of all of our preserved land, and really that's what today is about. It's about preserving the viewscape and the quality of life, but also producing, because agriculture is the original manufacturing in this country. We've got wonderful soil in Pennsylvania and especially in Bucks County. So we're going to be producing here and then this land will yield fresh produce to be used here locally, here in Bucks County and throughout the region. And all of that is critically important and only happens through leadership. So Bucks County has been a leader in land preservation. We'll continue through your leadership to lead the Commonwealth in greenhouse production, uh, not just for today, not as part of our history, not to be read about in the history books, but for the future. So congratulations, Jim. Thanks for, for what you've done and for what everybody's done here. Okay, thank you, Mike. I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Paul Lightfoot, uh, President and CEO of uh, Bright Farms. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jim, and, and thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. This is a, like a picture-perfect day to be on a farm. Uh, I've been here, Jim mentioned, we've, we've, we've been a, a pretty aggressive listening organization for the last nine or ten months, and that's given me a, a chance to physically and personally be here uh, quite a bit, and I've, I almost come to feel like this is like a home away from home. I, I love this place. I love the town, I love this particular farm, and I feel like uh, we're lucky to have such a, a gorgeous day. I think this is one of the most beautiful spots spots I can imagine in the country, and I look forward to being here a lot more over the next 10 years as we really look uh, to build on the heritage of this farm uh, and, and increase its utility and, and its productivity uh, for this town and for the, uh, for the Bucks County region. <coughs> Bright Farms is, uh, is a company that's building farms in, in multiple places around the country. But this greenhouse that we're going to build, and, and I, should, I should flip this chart to show you an image of what it's going to look like. So this is an aerial view. And uh, if you turned around and, and looked at that field in the background off to my right and your left, uh, the far corner over there toward the trees and next to I-95 is where this facility is going to be located. This greenhouse, if I have 100 greenhouses in my career, this one will always hold a special place in my heart uh, because McCaffrey's Market was the very first supermarket that agreed to commit to partner with us on a greenhouse project. Um, and that was pretty meaningful, meaningful. And I want to start off by thanking Jim McCaffrey and his staff uh, for believing in us before lots of other companies were, were publicly stating their belief in us as well. Uh, Jim is a visionary, and I think he was able to see very early on uh, the vision of having local produce produced sustainably in the same community where it was being sold and consumed. And that vision stems from Jim's real commitment to his customers, uh, where he's committed to the freshest, most flavorful produce and his commitment to the community. And, and I think as, as, as Pete touched on, uh, Jim is, a, is really a, a pillar in this community. And, uh, and you, you feel that throughout his organization. This particular project, this greenhouse farm, is specifically going to be replacing a long and complex supply chain. We're not looking to displace food that's created already in Bucks County. We're looking to displace food that's coming from Arizona, California, Mexico, and Ontario, Canada. The, uh, the produce that we're going to be growing here is going to be sold in this community by a farmer that's going to live in this community that we're going to train and support and enable to success, to have success with their own business within our greenhouse farm. And as Jim said before, we're going to be creating food that's going to be on the shelves within hours of harvest. McCaffrey's and John Vina will, will both be 
uh, in this region at the leading edge of the local food movement, in many cases leapfrogging their competition, and we're thrilled to be, thrilled to be their partners in that effort. This greenhouse that you see here will be about 50,000 square feet. It's going to grow probably over half a million pounds of fresh produce per year. That, that should be the freshest, most flavorful um, and attractive produce that you'll find in the region. We're going to be creating six full-time permanent green color jobs and up to about 50 part-time jobs in the construction of the project. The greenhouse will keep a lot more local dollars in the community that, that are currently leaving the community. Demand for local produce has never been stronger. This is the strongest trend right now in restaurants and in supermarkets, and it shows every indication of not being a fad, but of being a real long-standing change in the way that consumer demand is, is, is impacting the supply chain. Even with the addition of this greenhouse, the demand for local food will still far outstrip the supply, so we hope we have the chance uh, to build more of these facilities in this area. We're excited that communities like Bucks County are doing more than ever to meet the demand for local food, and we're excited to be part of a community that truly values beautiful local farmland like this, that we're excited to be part of improving and making more productive, and local farmers. And we're thrilled to be able to scale up local food by partnering with innovative food companies like McCaffrey's uh, and John Vina. So on behalf of everyone at Bright Farms, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the chance to serve your community. Uh, John Vina owns a specialty uh, produce company, and uh, John would like to say a few words as well. Many, many consumers and customers want local produce. Uh, they want fr good, fresh product produced close to home. So today we're all here to celebrate the application of new technology designed to satisfy that growing demand, to celebrate the application of this technology and to celebrate this project planted here by McCaffrey's Markets and Bright Farms. My staff and I are really very excited about this greenhouse. We're excited about high quality fresh produce grown by neighbors without the worries associated with complicated logistics and long transit times. Thanks to you, Jim McCaffrey, and to Paul Lightfoot. Projects like this one will re-energize the produce industry here and around the country, feed our customers, and put produce back in our backyards where it belongs. Thank you. I'd like to introduce uh, Steve Sanicero to uh, say a few words, our state representative. We are very fortunate in the district I represent, which is the Lower Mayfield Yardley Newtown area, that we have several restaurants such as the Yardley Inn and Pallet over in Newtown that are buying locally. The Pensbury School District is uh, very involved in buying local uh, produce uh, for service to uh, our kids here in the, uh, in the community, which ultimately uh, helps them and have a healthier diet. Uh, but it's really terrific, and one thing I'm excited about is the opportunity to use this facility to bring the local kids in and to teach them about farming, about hydroponics, and about how important it is for all of us in the long run to be able to eat locally. And so this project is, I think, very timely, fits in well with what the community is doing, and I commend all of you for, uh, for bringing this forward and uh, look forward to much success down the line. So thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Now I understand that we're going to do a symbolic uh, groundbreaking ceremony. I was told not to break the ground. <laughs> <laughs>